Hey, we're the Babysitter's Club. Call us if you need us. Bye! What if you could, like, make one phone call? In 2020, Netflix premiered one of its latest shows, The Babysitter's Club, or BSC for short, a show based on the book series of the same name written by Anne M. Martin in the 80s. The show is about a group of five young girls who start their own babysitting service but then discover new things about themselves and each other in the process. Much to the delight of fans across the globe, Netflix has officially confirmed there will be a second season and if all goes as well as it did with the first season, we know there is a lot of existing material to make the show go on and on. The book series consists of 131 books, though overall there are more than 200 titles. It is widely expected that the main cast will stay intact, though there has been speculation on a few new characters set to join the show. So stick around as we take a look at Season 2 of The Babysitter's Club and how it will change everything. But before I get into all the details, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. The first season of The Babysitter's Club had 10 episodes, but it was enough for viewers around the globe to fall head over heels with the cast the storyline and promises of what's to come. The rebooted show, yes, The Babysitter's Club you're watching now, is a reboot of the same show aired in the early 90s and was so well received that it even scored a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, which really doesn't happen very often. IMDb has given the show a 7.4 out of 10 rating and Common Sense Media has given it a 4 out of 5. The Guardian in the UK wrote an incredibly fitting review of the show. Netflix's adaptation of Anne and Martin's charming tales about a group of entrepreneurial schoolgirls is a funny fresh reimagining that feels both new and nostalgic. Rotten Tomatoes, which is now known for its harsh reviews and ratings, says, Sweet, sincere, and full of hope, the Babysitter's Club grounded approach honors its source material while updating the story for a new generation. While a review by Vanity Fair reads, Netflix's Babysitter's Club series is near-perfect kids television. The release date of season 2 has been delayed quite a bit, given the fact that production was hampered due to the global health situation, but in the middle of March this year, the streaming service announced that they are expecting season 2 to land on July 2nd, 2021, which is a near similar time as season 1. And here is what we know so far. The Babysitter's Club second season will pick up from where the first season ended. It has been announced that the second season will welcome two more members to the club. The second season is also expected to continue showing the members helping each other while they grow up and deal with their crushes and relationships and season 2 is expected to show a lot more about the relationship between Dawn's mother and Marianne's father. There is also the matter of the marriage of Christie's mother and Watson. There are definitely going to be some big changes in that family right? We can also tell you that Jessie Ramsey, a favorite character from the books, is said to be a big part of season 2, despite her relatively small presence in the first season. The show's creator, Rachel Schuchert, has shared the same sentiment in an interview with Variety, telling the magazine that Jessie moves in even later. She's a really important character, but she is more of a season 2 character. Rachel also chatted with Vanity Fair about her hopes for the season. When asked what storyline she's most eager to tackle next, she replied, There are so many. I love how Christy evolves in her new family. I always have really loved Mary Ann and Dawn, as as their parents get closer, how that kind of changes their relationship, and let's not forget about Claudia and Stacy, they have certainly grown a lot over the first season. Hopefully, we get to see more of their family life and more of their amazing decorating skills. Also, maybe we'll actually get a Queer Eye crossover this time? We sure hope so. Several of the cast members have also spoken out about their hopes for season 2, given the close to 200 books which they can draw ideas from. Shay Rudolph, who plays Stacy, tells Pop Sugar she hopes Stacy does not move back to New York City, as she does in the books. I want to stay with the other BSC girls and have fun babysitting adventures. So Sophie Grace, who plays Christy, adds that she hopes her character coaches Christy Crushers, the softball team she leads in the books. We're also eager to see if cast members from Beyond the OG Girls return. Alicia Silverstone, who plays Christy mom, Elizabeth, sounds like a likely candidate. Alicia told EW, Mainly I was just really excited to read a script that was female driven and that was super positive and modern, and was based on a story that so many people love. The show makes my heart so happy when I watch it. We know what you mean, Alicia, we really do. While we wait for season 2, here are a few interesting facts about the series. The first babysitter's book, titled Christie's Big Idea, was published in 1986. Before long, the books were hitting bestseller lists and what started as a four-part miniseries eventually grew into more than 200 books. By the series original end in 2000, 176 million copies of all books have been sold, which, if stacked on top of each other, would be as tall as 77,203 Empire State Buildings. It just goes to show, when you found the winning recipe, you'd better stick to it. While the books were written by Anne M. Martin, the original idea wasn't hers. Scholastic 
editor Jean Fywell actually came up with the idea and title, and then hired Anne to write the books. She does say that Anne did all the hard work, such as come up with the storyline and characters. But how did Jean come up with the idea? Well, when she joined Scholastic in 1983, she was put in charge of the publisher's preteen and young adult book clubs. The idea for Babysitter's Club came when she noticed that a book called Ginny's Babysitting Job was a top seller month after month, despite having a rotten cover and being buried on the third or fourth page of the book club's catalog. I thought, it must be something about the babysitting, because it's not something about Ginny or the cover. But how did Anne manage to keep coming up with golden content book after book? She says, first, I had to decide exactly what a babysitter's club might be, and I decided that it would be a babysitting business. And then I created four original main characters. Anne had worked as a teacher for a year shortly before she began writing the books. She adds, I was also thinking of the kids in my classroom, who really came from different kinds of backgrounds. I remember at the time being struck by how many came from families in which the parents were divorced or a lot of blended families. As for the characters, Anne drew on her own friendships. Marianne and Christy, for example, were based on Anne herself and her best friend Beth when they were growing up. During an interview with the Washington Post in 1995, Anne explained that she and Beth would form countless clubs over the course of their childhood, though they only ever lasted about two days each. We'd meet in Beth's bathroom, eat cookies, and then go home. Anne also spent a lot of time babysitting in her youth, but it wasn't the only thing she used for inspiration. Her childhood desire to find a secret passageway in her house inspired the ghost at Dawn's house. While summer vacations on the Jersey Shore and in Surf City, Avalon, Stone Harbor, and Cape May in particular inspired Sea City, New Jersey, the fictional town where the members of the Babysitter Club enjoyed summer activities in the episode Boy Crazy Stacy. But have you ever wondered what the characters would ultimately turn into as grown women? It's a part of the story that hasn't been written, and probably never will get written. But that doesn't mean Anne and Martin hasn't given it some thought. According to Anne's imagination, Christy is probably the head of something, maybe a business, Claudia will grow up to be an artist, and Stacy will most likely be doing something in fashion, not necessarily design, but maybe the business end? Jesse will likely stay passionate about dance, but won't necessarily pursue it professionally. Dawn, she'll stay permanently in California. And what about Mallory? And interestingly enough, does not have any strong feelings about Mallory. Shame. Sorry, Mallory. While it's not clear how many seasons in total Netflix will produce, the streaming service does have a nasty habit of normally not producing more than two or three seasons per show, but something tells me the Babysitter's Club might just be an exception to the rule. What we can say is that the very last book ever written in the Babysitter's Club Friends Forever series is called Graduation Day, though let's face it, it's highly unlikely for the Netflix series to continue up until that very last book. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked the video. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section down below.